Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video. And as you probably know by now, Apple has introduced iOS 15. Of course, it comes with a lot of new features and changes. And a lot of those are actually hidden within iOS 15. So in this video, I will show you guys 30 amazing hidden features that you will be able to find on your device running on iOS 15. Now, before we get into the video, I just wanna ask you guys for a huge favor. I'm really trying to turn my viewers into subscribers so if you have actually watched this video and you're not actually subscribed to the channel make sure to do so that would help out a lot all right starting things off with the home screen you know you can go and see your pages that you have on your home screen by going to the edit mode and then tapping the dots right here you can enable or disable pages but now on ios 15 you can actually delete pages completely so pages that are disabled like these ones right here you have now the ability to actually completely remove them and you can see all of these apps will directly go to app library so you don't have to move them one by one this is an amazing feature that apple has added and this is basically improved much more with this feature added we finally get mail widget on ios 15. mail widgets are here and you will be able to add the medium one and the bigger one now tapping on the widget right here 3d touching on it and tapping on edit widget you will be able to actually choose the mailbox that you want to display right there so you will get everything here and you can choose whatever you want to display now right here get two previews of two different emails and if you tap on one of them it will actually open that email magnifying glass is back with ios 15. so when you're actually moving through text you get the magnifying glass which is now different but it's back and it is really really awesome to have this feature back on ios now on ios 15 now you can set a lot of settings based on apps so per app settings like you are right here we're on the note app so if i go to the control center while on the note app and 3D touch here, you can see I have the ability to change the text size, but I can choose to do that on notes only. So you can do that on the app that you're currently on, or you can do that for all of the other apps. When introducing iOS 15, Apple also introduced a new feature called Live Text. It is pretty awesome. They showed it on the Photos app, but it actually works everywhere on iOS 15. Like right here on this note, I can add actually text by just tapping like that and tap text from camera. It will basically scan everything in front and you can just go ahead and add text from the camera to this note. I can do that on Safari as well. Maybe like opening a web page right here. I see a link somewhere. All I gotta do is just tap there tap text from camera it will actually start scanning and i will be able to actually open that directly into safari now when you open an app on ios 15 that uses the camera and the microphone like facetime for example here i have facetime right here i go out of facetime go to the control center you can see right there it shows video effects and mic mode as well now from here i can choose these settings for the FaceTime app. So for the app that I was using. So standard voice isolation or wide spectrum. And right here we have video effects as well. You can enable or disable portrait mode right there. Safari on iOS 15 got a lot of new features. And here are some pretty cool ones that are actually hidden on Safari. First of all, if you wanna reload a page, all you gotta do is just swipe down like this until you see that reloading wheel right there at the top and you're good to go on a web page you want to go back you can see this little arrow right here you can tap and hold there it will show you all kinds of different steps where you can go back now when you go to the tabs view right here now there is a new grid view that apple has added with ios 15 you see those little x buttons it's kind of hard to reach them to actually close them all you have to do is just swipe like this and you will be able to close any of them you can also tap and hold the tab and just drag it to rearrange it anywhere you want again if you want to close it you just go ahead and just swipe them like this from the right to the left and you're good to go 
Now when on the default video player of iOS, now you will have here some options. If you tap the three dots, you will get all the different options that you have available on that video. Whether that be language, subtitles, or playback speed, they will show on this menu and you can just choose them from here. On the new Find My app on iOS 15, now you can enable Notify when left behind for any of your devices that you have on the list. So you go to the device name and you go to notify when left behind, enable it right here. And this will basically notify you whenever you leave this device behind you. So that's actually really, really cool. Now what you can do here is also add location to basically remove them from that list. So you won't be notified when you left them behind on that exact location, like maybe your home or your office or something like that. When you're on a conversation on iMessage with someone and you want to actually move to FaceTime, FaceTime, call them with voice or with video, you can do that quickly from the iMessage app without, of course, having to open FaceTime. You get this button right here, you tap there and you will get FaceTime audio and FaceTime video. Just choose any of them and you can do it right from here. Photos on iOS 15 got a lot of secret features. So right here, here we have one of them. So this is a portrait picture. All I gotta do here is just tap the little I button or just swipe up and it will show me all kinds of different details regarding this picture. Starting from the location, it doesn't have a location because it was turned off. I can go ahead and add a location here. Just search for a location and add it to the picture. I can go ahead and take a look at all the different camera settings that have been used when taking this picture. And you can see right here, we have the date when it was shot. I can go ahead and adjust that. So it shows like the calendar here and the time picker. And I can go ahead and choose the, da the date and the time for this picture right here. When I tap the little I button on a picture that I have saved from an app, it will show the app right here. Now tapping on it, it will show you all the other pictures that you have saved from that same app. On live photos on iOS 15, what you can do is change their settings directly from here. Now previously, when you had a live photo, you can turn it into a loop and you could turn it into other things like a bounce or a long exposure by just swiping up on it. Now you cannot do that. You will have the option to do it from here. When it says live, you have that little arrow. You can actually do that much easier from here. You know, iOS will automatically feature like places and people on your memories on the photos app. Now with iOS 15, you will have the ability to actually tap the little share button on any picture of a person and just tell iOS to feature that person less. And you know what? The all time picker is back on iOS 15. Tap the plus button right here to create a new alarm. You can see the all style time picker is now back. Moving on to some new settings that you will find hidden within the settings app on iOS 15. Going to general, you will find a totally new section here that says VPN and device management. Right here, you will see your configuration profiles and your VPN connections as well. This is new and hasn't been before on iOS. Also, if you go to notifications, you will now find announced notifications. So this will basically allow you your iOS device to actually announce notifications through AirPods, which is actually really, really useful. Now let's move on here to the weather app. So let's just find this. Now you can see right now you have here Celsius and Fahrenheit. You will be able to choose them from this little new menu right here. And we also have notifications. If you go here, you can tap on weather notification settings, and this will take you into the app and allow you to actually enable notifications for any of the cities or for your current locations for rain and snow storms right here. So this is pretty, pretty cool. So again, you cannot do this from the settings app, but it will take you from there into the weather app and allow you to actually turn on this option right here to get notified when a weather, basically a rainstorm or a snowstorm is coming in. On the keynote, Apple mentioned Safari extensions on iOS 15. Did you know that if you go to settings and go to Safari, you will actually find the extensions right here. So 
here they are and if you tap on more extensions it will take you to the app store and to a little like section of safari extensions and from here you will be able to actually install these on your device on ios 15 when you go to your settings you will find now a new section called focus this basically replaces do not disturb and right here you will find phone calls now here you can choose who you want to allow to call you once you're on the focus mode so basically here you can allow repeated calls so if someone basically calls you twice or maybe three times these calls will be allowed on your device and of course you have here the different groups that you have of contacts on your device and of course your favorites or everyone so that's really cool as well and of course very very useful and we have here another option if you go to one of the modes right here you will be able to actually customize the home screen layout so you can choose here the pages that you want to allow during this mode when it's activated you go to choose pages you will have your pages right here and you can choose each one of them and last but not least going to settings general right here under reset you will find a new option to prepare for new iphone I don't know what exactly this will do i will have to take a look at that or maybe even try it on another device because i didn't have the courage to actually do it on this device which is again my main device so this is really interesting i will have to see what it does but this is new on ios 15. so that's pretty much it for this video guys hopefully you enjoyed the video go ahead leave a like if you did and also don't forget to subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one